<coughs> yes, I do. You say your full name, correct? Kevin Richard Powell. Powell, give us your address. 2633 Davenham Lane, Duluth, Georgia. 30096. What county do you live in? Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County. And are you a registered voter in the state of Georgia? Yes, sir. At the time that you initiated the challenge or filed the challenge that you initiated this day, were you a registered voter in the state of Georgia? Yes, I was. And are you uh, uh, able as a registered voter in the state of Georgia to have the ballot for president of the United States? Yes, I am. Well, I'm going to show you what's in uh, Mark Plains Exhibit number 30. I'm going to ask you to identify that for me. This is the from Linda Ford to Chief Clerk, the uh, candidate qualifications uh, challenge for Barack Obama, and it has the the uh, Georgia Code. Yes, sir. Is that is that composite exhibit um, a record of the challenge that you filed with the Secretary of State's office? Uh, challenging uh, Barack Obama's candidacy in this case and uh, the related uh, related documents uh, that were generated by the Secretary of State's office? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. Uh, I would get in plain to number. Uh, is that number three? Yes, it is. That plain to number three. Yes, sir. Plain to number one. Mr. Powell is. <coughs> Is that, a, in fact, a, a letter from Mr. Michael Berman, the chairman of the Georgia Democratic Party, uh, submitting the name of Barack Obama as the sole Democratic candidate for president in 2012? Yes, it is. Admit a move to tender plans to give him a warning at that time. Next, show you plans to give him a warning at number four. How can you tell us what that is? This is the divorce record for Stanley Ann Dunham and Barack Obama Sr. Okay. That, those were from the state of Hawaii. Yes, they were. And that would include the divorce action and the final judgment and decree of divorce between those uh, parties. Is that correct? Yes. Those, to your knowledge, are the parents of Barack Obama, who is president of the United States. Yes, sir. So, Tinder, plaintiffs, and the number of four. Yeah. We want to show you the next plan to do it number seven. And you can recognize that. This is the official certification official certification of nomination from the Democratic Party for the 2008 general election that I received from the Secretary of State's office, and it is officially certifying the nomination of Barack Obama. <coughs> And, and that is a certified copy from the Yes, it is. So, Tinder claims to be the number seven. Number seven. Showing you the claims to be number eight. And you will identify that fourth, please. This is the official certified copy of the certificate of nomination for the president, but this is for the Republican National Committee. And it's a certified copy from the Secretary of State. Number eight, and that's number eight. All right. In connection with that exhibit, Mr. Powell, let me just ask you real quickly. Those were the certificates of nomination, plans of the seven and eight, certificates of nomination submitted by the Democrats and the Republicans, respectively, in 2008. Um, is, it, is there language on the Republican certificate that is not contained in the Democratic certificate that's relevant to this case? Yes, sir, very much so. The, the Republican language says that <clears throat> uh, the candidate meets the constitutional requirements for the office of the President of the United States. And the Democratic Certificate of Nomination uh, says the following were duly nominated as candidates of the state party for president. It does not include the, uh, um, it does not state that they are 
qualified according to the Constitution. Um, this is from a government web page, and it is the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, and it's an interpretation with regard to the delineation between natural born citizen, naturalization, and a native citizen. And is that something that that, that was a a a, um, a printout from a United States government source? Yes, sir. It is. I saw this myself as well. And that's from United States Citizenship and Immigration Service. Yes, sir. Uh, we were two year plans. We went number eleven. This is the letter from Obama's attorney, Michael Jablonski, to Brian Kemp with regard to these hearings. This was the letter that was, was sent and received uh, yesterday. Yes, sir. Um, indicating that um, they did not want these proceedings to go forward and they did not want to participate. The disc I received from the uh, Citizenship and Immigration Services with the 181 pages of documents and uh, an introductory letter from you know from the department. Okay. Do you have the original response that you received in that original disc with you here today? I do. And you would like to retain those original reviews and other proceedings, is that true? Yes. <laughs> is the plaintiff's exhibit number six true and accurate? Uh, depiction of the response that you received from the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service in response to your February 2011 uh, Freedom of Information Act uh, request. Yes, it's identical. And uh, Mr. Allen, if you will just tell us briefly what what was the substance and the general substance of the documentation that was being requested from the USCIS and that you received back. <coughs> well, the request was for any documents that related strictly to Barack Obama Senior. Uh, That's the father of the defendant, Barack Obama. Yes. Okay. Stanley and Dunham, Satoro. Obama, which would be uh, his mother, and Lolo Satoro, which would have been his stepmother. But I, I received this, and it was kind of split. Uh, you have uh, Barack Obama Sr., and then some documents on Stanley Ann, and then we we'll followed through with uh, Lolo Satoro. Okay. Based on the response that you received from the Freedom of Information Act request, that is contained in the documentation in place in Exhibit Number Six. Uh, you, were you able to determine whether Barack Obama Senior was ever a citizen of the United States? Never. He was never. Never a citizen. All right. I would tender 